Hi everybody, JG from JG Reborn Singapore Style. And we have the beautiful little taffy, or sorry, I always get these gears mixed up. Addy Bean. Beautiful little pixie or fairy or whatever. Um, I always get those two mixed up. Um, from the beautiful Shannon Bean from the Twisted Beanstalk. And the use I have for you is. She is going to do me a little twin. Now this is sold out, this sculpt. I've been searching everywhere. And um, I was watching one of Shannon's videos the other day. And she was painting and stuff and sorting out all her um, sculpts in, in, in bags. And she was like hanging them up. And I happened to see one of um, this little madam here. And I couldn't believe it. And I contacted her right away. But unfortunately, she just sold it that day, so. But um, she said that she reckons like it wouldn't really matter. It doesn't have to be the exact same sculpt because she would do it the same. With all the little markings on the face and the hair is going to be different. It's going to be white and blue instead of white and purple. And then you can not see it here, but these eyes are like a, a purple color that little um, Addie has here, but her little twin is going to have pink eyes. Isn't that going to be so funny? And this is so blurry and I, I'm using my iPhone. I don't know why that is, but yeah, you still can't really see the eyes there, but you can see the markings better. So yeah, I cannot wait for that, but it might be after Christmas because Obviously, she has so many orders already in, and I'm still paying up on my toddler, who's coming from France. Um, so, yeah. Also, I was going to do a tag, which is started by, I'm sure you all know, Pickles and Teas Captive Hearts. I don't know why this is shaking so much. I'm holding the phone just in my hand. It's not on the tripod. So, this is just called... What do you miss the most? I think I've seen a couple of ladies doing this. But this is where I've seen it now on Pickles and Teas, Captive Hearts. Um, what I miss the most is, like, I have three fantastic grandchildren now. Another one on the way. And the older two, like when they were younger, before all my illnesses and that kicked in. Um, we would play hide and seek and, you know, I would literally like jump up and down in the bed with them. We would sing, we would dance, we would make forts, tents, have picnics, you know, under the table, go to the park, go to the town all the time. You know, I was just so active with them and they would just laugh their heads off and some days they would say, you know, Nana, you are crazy. And then, of course, I would go into a... We addition is it? Oh, I can't remember the name, but you know what I mean. The song, Barney, like, boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it good to be nuts like me? Silly it to see the whole day through. Boom, boom, ain't it good to be crazy? And, um, yeah, then of course I would say, but you know, why do you want to be the same as everybody else? I'm not ordinary, I'm extraordinary. And my, my oldest granddaughter died. The minute I start to say it, she's like, no, Nana, don't say it, don't say it. And then I say, okay, we'll say it about you, Ali. You are not normal, you are phenomenal. Do you get it? Phenomenal. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, laughing her head off. So yeah, that is what I miss, miss the most. Just at any time that I, I am having a good spell, I try to do stuff like that with them and they're very good about it when you know especially the wee younger one who's only five she's very good about it when I'm sick you know she just sits up beside me it's like a double a double sofa like recliner and she'll just color it and we'll play with her wee dolls up there and things like that instead so she is very very she's very very good about it so yeah and just to say 
update on lupus and that and my mood. I went to my group today again. It's for people living with long-term conditions to get you, um, you know, out of your negative thinking and all that. We're half, they're ha we're halfway through now, and as you know, I walked out of one of the sessions as well. But I think I really made a breakthrough today. I felt really good, and yeah, I'm really going to try harder to make some kind of a life for myself and just not be so negative and. Yeah, and I've been reading a lot of books in that as well, which definitely helps. Tried my mindfulness, meditations, and of course, thank you for all your support. And of course, the more I could feel like this, the less flare-ups I take. That's the whole thing about it. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to little Addie's um, twin. And of course, I don't know what I'm going to call her. What do you think would suit? Ari, something to match Ari Bean for a twin. You could put that down below in the uh, comments. And then just a wee quick update about the giveaway. Um, yeah, I think we have another, yeah, we have another few weeks yet. I think it's going to be done. I want to be sending it around the middle of November. So, um, don't forget to do your shout outs and then let me know on that video and then I will tell you down below and I will say you're entered and I will give you your number and then that's how you'll know. So please do the shout outs. We only have about, we have 12 so far. So yeah, just said about, you know, that I'm doing a giveaway. Oh, and by the way, I happened to check in today because I was busy all day and then I wanted to get a couple of videos done. I could not believe it when I saw 999, which is, that's our emergency number here to call. So I won off the thousand mark. Could you believe that people? One off the thousand mark, come on, please. Do those shout outs. Cause I need to be actually over that because you know how it works. You know, after you do a giveaway, some of these people just seem to disappear again. So yeah, thank you so much. Love everybody. See you soon.